I am here in the salon and it's a little bit different of a layout. You guys can actually see my salon stations behind me. If you've never tuned into my channel, hi, my name is Alexis May. I am a licensed hairstylist. I work in Orange County, California. I just opened my own salon suite. I'm so excited about that. And I love doing educational videos for hairstylists. I have a ton of free education. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you guys can stick around check out new videos I have coming out as well as the previous videos that I've already uploaded. So today I'm kind of stepping away from the very heavy techniques and going back to some of the basics. So I wanted to be able to visually give you guys an idea of what certain techniques look like because I feel like maybe for some newer stylists that are coming to, you know, working on people's hair doing color, it's easy to be like, oh, okay, this girl does baby lights and this and this and this. But if you guys can't actually visualize what each one of those things are going to look like, it can kind of be hard to know how to approach someone's hair and how to get them the color that they bring in through a picture. So today I'm gonna to show you guys what baby slicing, regular slicing, baby weaving, and regular weaving looks like visually on a doll head so you guys can understand how those are going to lay in the hair. This is something that I just thought about and I was like, oh, that would be a really good visual because I'm a visual learner. Most hairstylists tend to be visual learners. So we're gonna take my doll head, we're gonna do some color on her hair, and I'm gonna show you guys what each stitch looks like. I call them stitches because in the terms of sewing, it makes appropriate sense because some stitches are smaller, some are larger, they have different patterns, all of that, and that's exactly what we're doing in the hair. We're creating different size stitches and different patterns in those stitches, and that is what's going to give us an overall look. So visually, we're gonna be able to see what that looks like and what type of light or darkness or lay that is going to give to our client's hair via the doll head. She's gonna be our dummy. So let's hop in and I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I mean. Okay, so here's my doll head, Amelia. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna demo each stitch on both sides of this side of the head and then two other stitches on the other side of the head. So for the first stitch, what I'm gonna do is a baby slice. So I really want you guys to see the application visual along with what this looks like when it's dried. So I'm gonna get a really nice section. I'm gonna lay that guy over so you guys can see. So what a baby slice is going to look like is a very, very small, minute piece of hair. Now you're not going to be weaving or stitching this out. This is just one continuous glide across the hair. Now for a baby stitch, obviously I'm working on a mannequin because no one's gonna actually let me do their hair with some nice black chunks. But you guys can see, I did a continuous stitch all the way across. So when we go to foil this piece, there should be an even amount of hair from side to side and it's just gonna be one continuous slice. So this is what a baby slice is going to look like. Again, I'm going to be using a 1B from Redken to really give you guys a good visual on what this is going to look like as it's laid across the hair and the kind of color impact that you're going to achieve using a baby slice. Okay, so moving on to a regular size slice. Typically, regular slice, regular size slices are going to be a lot thicker. This is when you're going to want to have a lot of color that is going to be showing up in the hair in a larger size chunk, okay? So you're going to see I have a lot more hair in this than the baby slice. And obviously my mannequin has some weird little bald patch right here, so just ignore that. You can see as I lay that down across the head, you're not going to get as close to the hairline with a regular size slice because you have way more hair there. Now, the difference in this compared to a regular human head is people don't have as much spacing going on in their natural hairline as a mannequin does. So, But you're going to see continuous hair across that whole thing. And then we're gonna apply the color and you're really gonna be able to see the difference in how much impact a regular slice to a baby slice has. Okay, so we have our baby slice and then our regular slice. Let's move on to the weaves. So on this side, we're gonna look at a regular weave. So typically we're going to skim some hair off of the top, and then you're going to put in your weave stitch. 
Now I'm gonna do this a little bit slower than how I normally do it so you guys can get a good visual. But what I recommend is to do it closest to the scalp so that way you're gonna be able to achieve the actual correct size. So I'm going to do a regular size stitch here and show you guys what that looks like just by holding that out. So this guy down here is kind of looking a little bit smaller, but visually that's what a regular size stitch is going to look like. But on the foils, you guys can get a better visual for what exactly a regular stitch is going to look like. This is really great for creating more impact in your highlights if you want brighter colors, but it's also going to give your clients that more PC or stripey look that people tend to have because so many of us use baby lights and root smudges and stuff like that nowadays. This is also really hard to do whenever you have a camera that's like literally in your way. <laughs> so now we're gonna look at what a baby light is going to look at. Baby light, baby weave, whatever you wanna go ahead and call it. So typically you're gonna take a smaller subsection of hair, you want finer pieces, not such a large section. And then from the top of this, you're going to be doing finer weave pieces. So you guys can see visually that this weave pattern is gonna be a lot smaller, a lot quicker of a pickup than what you're going to see with the regular weave. So you can barely see those little pieces and it'll show up more once I show you on the foil. So laying that foil down, you're gonna see a lot smaller pieces and that's what's going to give you the very, very soft amount of color that you're either gonna be lifting or depositing. And this is gonna give you super soft diffusion and disbursement that we'll see once we get it all dried off. Okay, so the last one that we have is gonna be the weave or traditional highlight. And then you're gonna have the baby weave or what's called a baby light. Okay, so now I'm gonna let these guys process and then I'm gonna rinse it and blow it out so you guys are gonna be able to see what it looks like when it's laid on the hair, especially the dark contrast of a level one against blonde. All right guys, so here are our results. So we're starting with the slice first to give you guys a very good visual. I've kind of sectioned them out so you guys can see. So this is gonna be what your baby slice looks like. I think when we slice, we think it's gonna be really, really scary, when in all actuality, it can be really gorgeous when done in the proper placement. I tend to use this for around the hairline. I love giving the money pop for really bright blondes, the baby slice. A few of them back to back is really pretty. And you can see, even with this being a 1B, you're not seeing anything crazy around the root line or anything, as long as you're getting that closer to the root. And then when you come down, the actual look that it's going to give you on the hair is gonna be a soft amount of color, but definitely a lot of color in the presence of it. Moving over to the actual slice, this is where you're gonna see full impact of that color. So depending on how dense their hairline is, you guys can see at that root, and then when you come down, you're gonna see quite a bit of color laying as a veil over the top of this blonde. So you're gonna get a very large amount of color saturation and actual color that you're going to be depositing onto the hair with that actual regular size slice. And then flipping you guys over to the other side, this is what I love. Seeing this visual of a regular weave and a baby weave or baby light side by side. This is gonna show you the difference in color disbursement. So this is your traditional highlight. Obviously the amount, like the width of your stitch varies from hairstylist to hairstylist. I did just a traditional stitch on this side and you can see that's gonna give you way more color definition going throughout the entire hair strand. I put these little clips here so that it kind of makes it easy for me to show you guys the section. But that's gonna give you that root to end dimension that some people do look for and it still looks really gorgeous, just not when you're working with black in blonde contrast, unless you're going for the Kelly Clarkson look. And then when we look at the baby weave, this is why these guys have become so popular because you literally can barely even see where that starts and stops, but you can definitely see with using black, the black color that I used, exactly where that color placement is, but how soft is that overall look compared to the regular weave stitch? It makes a big difference when you get to see them side by side and how they work differently in the hair. 
And then when we turn her around, you can really see the difference in those two different styles. So this is the regular um, slice and this is the regular weave. You can see how that color varies. And then we have the um, baby slice and then the baby weave back here. So depending on what you're doing requires different types of placement of the actual stitching. And then obviously, depending if you're going horizontally, vertically, diagonal back, all of that also plays into part. But I wanted you guys to really get a good visual of what this color placement looks like. All right guys, so that is the end of the video. I know that this is a little bit more like luxury, but I feel like sometimes for certain people you need these visuals. And I hope that Amelia and I were able to help you guys out with that today. And if you guys have any advice for any videos that you guys are thinking on more of the technical side, whether it is how to do really good gray coverage, um, how to actually do regular stitching of highlights, how to space them, that type of stuff, I would love to do some of that kind of more basic stuff for you guys because I know not everyone gets the same training and sometimes it's good to refresh on some of that type of stuff. So. Please do not forget to subscribe, like this video, and then I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.